Um, hi all you out there from Raiders Flag. This is Scurvy Freeze from Polici Stakes. The goal of this video really is just to um, show you a bit of how I PNAV, um, you know, why I make the moves that I may make, uh, how I came to these moves basically, and you know, just to help you improve your PNAVing in general. Because I know some of you out there who are struggling a bit with PNAVing. Um, with the flag, so you know if you are, um, I hope you learn something from this video. Um, and if you don't, I apologize in advance. So I'm just gonna attack this merchant break, which um, is clearly bigger than me. So I'm at a disadvantage already, considering I am using the navy right now, and I have very, very few people on the ship. Obviously, four bots. Um. So a big part of being having really is just prediction of your opponent's moves. Um, to be honest, I don't even know what they're going to do here. They could make a left into the rocks there, and then another left to, you know, face the right direction, and then a right just to get towards me, or they could be going right. So just to accommodate for both those moves, I'm going to go into the whirlpool here, um, you know, in case they do go right, which they did. Um, as you can see from their move there, though, um, they were probably in a trick heading through where my cursor is here. Uh, the biggest floor in their move there, if you observe, is that they will have to take at least one um, amount of ram damage in order to get to me, which is a great advantage for me. Um, so they're going to make two moves here. So I'm just going to get out of this whirlpool here on this side. Um, Assuming that they're gonna still try to come around this direction, that is. Um, they didn't move and they just fired, which is okay, I guess. It doesn't really harm me. Some BNABs might take you as long as half an hour. Keep that in mind while watching this. But, um, if you don't, if you take a long time in a BNAB, that's perfectly acceptable. So I'm just going to get into a better, a bit of a better position. So right now, they still have to take damage. There's just no way they can avoid it, as I stated earlier. Um, if they attempt to get me uh, left, right, straight would be the most efficient move made by them. I'm well. I'm going to move, but I'm not going to move too much here. I'm just going to. I'm going to go straight double right. Um, that's just an attempt to separate myself from them because um, they're coming straight out of there out of that area there and um, I'd have to get onto the onto the edge of the map here which means I would have to take ram damage if I were to attempt to fire at them. Also since they're side base there I would be broadside but I'd trade shots with them Right now, there's uh, ten. There's uh, one damage, one full amount of damage on them because of their two rams. So I'm just gonna predict now that they're gonna make a left, a straight, and a right. Uh, I was wrong, but they did make two straights, which gets the same result really. Um. So right now, I have about 3.5 to zero as the score. Which is not a bad start. Um, so once again, they're making a small amount of moves. Um, the biggest problem with this is really that they may not even move at all the entire time they're there. Of course, I don't want to stay broadside to a merchant break who fires mediums. Uh, just because it's not really the smartest thing you can do, obviously. Considering you will most likely lose the battle if you trade shots with a merchant break. Um, so once again, a small amount of moves. People would think this is good because they're not going to be moving much, but it actually makes it a bit harder because the few, they can be making so many moves. Uh, I'm just going to assume they're going to make a straight and a right and attempt to grapple, but I assume that I'll get one shot off. 
on them, and I do not. But once again, that is acceptable because you know if this kind of thing does happen in BNAVs, you will miss shots guaranteed, and that's something that we all have to get used to. The most important thing in BNAVing is not hitting your opponent, but rather not getting hit yourself. Uh, taking hits in BNAV is just the worst thing you can um, do because you can't get that damage back in the end game. Yeah. That damage stays. You can repair the damage, but you cannot get the points back when it comes to the sword fight or rumble that may be at the end. So that move there once again was fruitless in results, but I didn't take any damage as expected because they would grapple in the first. So that doesn't really affect our results in any way. I'm gonna anticipate that they're gonna make a right hand turn with a grapple on the left on the first, so I'm not gonna make a move on the first. I'm gonna make an attempt now to lay damage on them. Um Expecting that to have been the case, which it was not. Once again, an unsuccessful um, result in the PNAV. But as I stated earlier, it's um, well, it's quite a common occurrence. Very rarely do you actually hit with all shots that you fire in the PNAV. Um, that's something that we all actually have to get used to. So what I'm doing here is I'm moving forward in order to get into a position to fire against them. And I've just stayed in the whirlpool and I've added two into them because they didn't add any moves. Um, reasons why you should be cautious of this is just because um, there's something called last second moves. Um, it's a common thing used in PvPs and such where you just, you know, you, as the name suggests, you put your moves in right at the last second. And if you do this too frequently in a battle with a bot, it'll start doing it too. And what that means is you could think you can make a move that you think is completely safe because they don't have any moves in. And it turns out you get a lot of damage taken because they last second moved you and you were prepared for it because you thought they weren't even gonna move at all. So it's definitely something to be cautious about. So right now, you know, the merge break's taken seven point five. Uh, shots of damage. Um, that's quite a significant amount since this max is 9, which means chances are it's not going to be moving for quite a while. So I'm just going to charge some lefts there and I'm going to get behind it now instead of staying in the whirlpool, which is a slightly safer um, move because if they just turned left, they could have fired at me on one and third turn had I stayed in the whirlpool. So now the score is max to zero with those two shots, and so I'm just going to move them for the grapple. Um, so as you just saw in this entire battle, I did not in any way um, do anything special. The only thing I really did the entire battle was just um, was just stay out of harm's way, put shots into the ship slowly, you know, bit by bit. Of course, I sometimes missed, as you saw, but. I mean, the result is quite clear there. I got a max to zero with a bit of patience. That was maybe a six or seven minute PNAV, um, which is actually quite average. Some long ones can last half an hour. And, um, you know, the results have shown.